What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with another figure review. Today we're looking at Krillin's wife and also known as Android number 18. Now she is the latest uh, SH Figure Arts to be released for the DBZ line on this side right here and actually to be honest with you I think she's the first female character we've gotten uh, so far when it comes to the DBZ line so that's pretty cool I like the fact that SH Figure Arts isn't just giving us all the guy characters but they're giving us everyone they're going from the main cast all the way and spreading their wings and spreading just in many different directions now I hope looking at the trend that we're continuing to move forward in after the androids I hope SH Figure Arts releases a Majin Buu. Now Skinny Buu, Kid Buu, Fat Buu, I want them all. I will definitely cough up the money to get all of those figures. So SH Figure Arts, Tomash Nations, if you're listening to this, make them. Make it happen. Alright, so here we go. Standard packaging, I like the nice color combination that they used here. Yellow and black are always nice. You have the Dragon Ball Z logo here, Tamashii Nation station, uh, sticker here, Funimation, all that good stuff here. Just like all the other SH Figure Arts DBZ figures, um, she has the pixelated art of the actual character here. On the back, you have some of the poses you can get her in. A swappable face for Krillin, which is amazing. And the detonator for the bomb in her heart. So that's pretty cool. On this side, you have an awesome picture of Android 18. So that's pretty much it. Guys, stick around. I'll be right back. I'm going to get her out of package, and we'll see what she's all about. Stick around, guys. All right, guys, and we are back. We have Android 18 out of packaging, and what a beautiful, beautiful figure. Now, for being the first female figure to come out for the DBZ franchise, I think they've pretty much hit it spot on. Everything about this figure I love, and maybe it's just me being biased because I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z, but maybe it's just because these figures are that damn good. I think it's pretty much a mixture of both. Real quickly though, before we take a look at her, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. Now she does come with a ton of accessories which make this, makes this review and makes this collector a very happy camper. Now real quickly, I'll show you the random accessory that she comes with which is quite awesome and it's not really that random it's this face right here now, this is for obviously a Krillin head but she comes with it and it's because you can remake this scene or reenact this scene where Krillin and Andre 18 are like super close to each other and this was not one of the faces you could have gotten with the Krillin, so they've included it here, which is quite nice. And the sculpting, once again, spot on. Love how they did that. All right, now let's continue. You also get with this figure a little detonator or a little remote. Now this remote, for those of you guys who don't know, spoiler, spoiler alert guys, all the androids uh, have a bomb in their chest. So, with that being said, if um, they click this button, they can blow up the android and save the world, pretty much. But Krillin doesn't do that. He actually starts to fall for her, and yeah, and everything goes all magical. Alright, up next we have a couple of hands. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hands all together. We have the first ever female crossed arm pose, which is quite nice. We have three different faces. I'll show you the faces real quick. There you go. That is the 
I am quite annoyed at you, Krillin. That kind of face. We have then the serious yet not to. I guess this is more like the pissed off face. And she's looking right at you, I think. Yep. And this one right here is the little smirking face. Pretty cool. And each of these you can use with all these different interchangeable hair, uh, hair pieces. So you have a completely different hair piece right here and this is more like um, I guess jazzed up or it's more sculpted in a way that you can clearly see she should be in some sort of action pose where this one is more where she's just standing and just relaxing you get this frontal hair piece now if you take a look at this back here this is what that hair piece is for this piece right here so that's pretty cool they give you that so that you can connect and you see exactly where it's supposed to connect connect line up the peg and it goes right here so that's pretty cool just like that so I'll show you how to inter swap the heads guys this is the articulation this is the joint that the hair piece is on and take a face that you want line it up not too hard there you go and then you just put on the other hair piece now I think what you're supposed to do maybe this is actually the first time I'm looking at it too and this is a little different, it's a little weird because uh, usually they have the hair as one giant piece and then they have everything on the face as just one piece um, but this time they chose to go a different route and I think it's quite nice so there you have it, you have Android 18 in a more dynamic hair pose which is quite nice but I think personally I will be using this one right here alright guys my battery is telling me that it's going to die so give me a sec I'm gonna recharge the battery and I'll be right back alright sorry about that uh, I just had to recharge my battery for you guys it was only a matter of seconds but for me it took a little bit of time but now we're back so here we go Android 18, when it comes to sculpt, looks beautiful. I mean, they got the hair just right, they got the eyes, they got the proportion, everything is just spot on. I love the slender body that they used. Uh, the skirt piece is a nice rubbery piece, so articulation will not be hindered. Um, if you collect the SH Figuarts Super Sentai series, then you will know exactly how rubbery this piece is, which is quite nice. Now, if you try to take off her jacket, it's going to look extremely weird because they didn't really finish the mold here. And they don't really need to because Android uh, 18 is known to have this thing on. So, keep it on her. It's a nice rubbery piece. It's not going to get in the way of any articulation. So, that's that and just everything about it look at it I mean from the details of the pockets right here to the R logo on the back just everything about this character screams high craftsmanship so paint job and sculpting it's an A plus articulation the head can look fully up like this now if you do it like this it looks a little weird now the head that's a little better but be careful because it's gonna look a little funny um, but I like it uh, the head could go back down this far can tilt 360 everything the arms can go out that far can fully rotate still the same ball joint right here double jointed knees the wrists can swivel can go in out do whatever you need it to the on uh, the abs, the wraps, the abs can move. Lots of movement here, which is great. The legs are still on that joint where you can pull it down for higher angle kicks. If you condense, there you go. Double jointed knees, boot cut. I don't think so. 
and the feet, toe joint, ankle pivot, everything you can ever want. Um, that's pretty much it guys. If you want to interchange or swap out the head, just pull this off, put the new headpiece in. Same thing goes for the hands. You can pull this off, put the new hand in. Guys, that's pretty much it for me here. If you are a fan of DBZ, if you are a completist like me, if you love Android 18, this is the must get figure for you. So if you haven't picked up yours today, go to Gundam Planet, go to Big Bad Toy Store, Ami Ami, Amazon. She's all over the place. Don't wait, get it now. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This is Daybreak 748. And until next time, I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.